Welcome guys, I'm Gids. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. So today we're going to be doing my April favourites. There's things that I've loved throughout the month of April. We've got some fragrances, we've got skincare, we have got books, I've got some fitness stuff and I've got my podcast recommendations as well. I make videos about fragrances amongst other things. I'm Gids. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you subscribe. Um, brilliant. So I'm going to start with fragrances, especially as I know we have a lot of fragrance lovers on this channel, obviously myself included. The first ones I'm going to start off with are these two, mm. Miller Harris and I have Dance and I have Lost. Um, now I got these um, in March, at the end of March, and I got a fantastic discount on them. I got them for 50% off. This one is quite an aromatic citrus verbena scent, so it's quite slightly green, but very, very citrusy and fresh. And then this fragrance here is a rhubarb, again, quite fresh, but slightly green and tart. And what I love to do is I wear them together. So I layer these two fragrances We've got Dance and we've got Lost, and these are from Miller Harris. So I'll show you what I do. I'll do one here, and then I'll go over with Lost. And it's just, it's just so refreshing, very uplifting. Just what you want when you're kind of just chilling at home or just walking around, just something really fresh and easy to wear. So I've been loving these, these two fragrances. I have also been wearing um, and loving throughout April, I've rediscovered Terre d'Hermes. This is a, um, again, a green, slightly earthy, woody uh, vetiver scent, very crisp, very fresh and aromatic. I loved wearing this fragrance. Um, also, I have been wearing um, Ajmal Arum. This is a fruity floral with a lovely musk and I have been loving this as well. So those are the four fragrances I have um, been loving wearing throughout April. Skincare. I've got quite a bit of skincare here. I didn't realise I was a, uh, I was becoming quite a skincare fan, but I guess I have. I watch um, videos from Carol Hirons, and I think the other guy is called James Welsh. I'll link their channels below. They offer such great advice for skincare, guys. I highly recommend that you check out their channels. Um, but let's talk about the products I'm, I'm loving at the moment. So I have gone back to my good old trusty La Roche-Posay. Um, this is the face wash, which I really, really love. As you can see, I've, I've finished it, so I need to get a new one. And then I've also been using um, Effaclair Duo, um, which is really good for my skin type. So I have oily combinations. Of this year, my skin was just all over the place. I was breaking out, I was very oily. And I find that the La, the La Roche-Posay um, line works works best for my skin. Um, I did kind of go around and try various different skincare brands and I feel like it made my skin worse because my skin was like, what are you doing? You're doing too much. I was trying this brand and trying that and I was trying to essentially um, calm my skin down because I was breaking out, it was very oily. Um, gone yeah. back to basics and I think those are working for me at the moment. Um, I also have a lovely exfoliation um, scrub, which I really like. It's very gentle. It's from this company called Alpha H. This is a very, very, very good skincare brand. I don't have a problem with investing in good quality, but I always was a bit skeptical about brands that charge quite a high amount of money. Like, do they really work? Are they worth it? And I have wasted a lot of money on skincare, which didn't work for me, but this is amazing. So I use this um, scrub um, twice a week. It's very gentle and it's really good for removing dead skin um, and it gives you that nice kind of fresh soft um, complexion which I really like. I also have this so it came in a set with this um, triple um, cleanser from Alpha H. It's a light cleanser which um, I also use alongside that. Um, sometimes I mix it with my Effaclair um, La Roche-Posay face wash. And then once a week, this product is incredible. I was in the body shop and I asked the lady what what was the best um, face mask that the body shop sell and she recommended the Himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask. So this is great to use once a week. Um, you can even use it I think up to twice a week. Some it's yeah, I think no more than twice a week because what this does is you put it on your face, you leave it on for about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, it completely dries, then you wash it off and it's 
it almost is like it's taking out all the impurities, the dirt, the oil from kind of like deep in the skin, which is really great. And it leaves your skin really soft. So the next day I noticed that whenever I use this um, face mask, my skin always looks really fresh, soft and um, bright. Here I am acting like it's a skincare video. I have been loving The Ordinary. Again, um, if you watch uh, James Welsh, he's a skincare guy on YouTube, really good. And um, Carol Hirons, they, they kind of do endorse The Ordinary. The Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. I don't know if you can see that, you probably can't. But this is a really good product. Um, I feel like it just hydrates my skin. So I like using it before I use my Effaclair Duo. And then a few times a week, I will use this um, vitamin C. It's a 20% vitamin C Regina C20 serum from Face, Face Theory. <laughs> That's how you say it, it's quite a mouthful. Um, I never used to use serums, but um, I did research and found out they're quite good. This is good for helping to fade the um, remains of, you know, dark spots and breakouts and hyperpigmentation. So this is really good. Um, yeah, I use this about three times. That's my skincare books. Um, so what I've been loving for like, April, I have been, obviously we've been in a kind of a weird situation with this isolation, quarantine, lockdown, and we've all been handling this in our own way. I have rediscovered this, which is Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. Um, and it's just a really nice, practical book, really, really easy to read, nice short chapters, very, very practical. And it's just things to think about which help you become more grateful and practice gratitude. This is a really good book as well, Real Confidence. And this is from Psychologies, my friend, um, used to write for them so she got me all of their books so I have this one which is Real Ambition and I have this one which is Real Calm but the one I have been reading the most is um, Real Confidence. I think this is really good because it breaks down confidence in the way most people would never think um, a book could. So it really gets to the root of what confidence is and I love it. I love reading this book because it actually makes you think um, a lot of people who might come across as very confident actually aren't as confident as they may appear. And the true art of confidence really comes from a place of within. And what I like about it is they have a section where you basically fill out, um, it asks you questions and you kind of answer the question and then it gives you a score and it kind of breaks down where you are in terms of your confidence, why you have certain thoughts and patterns. But it's not preachy, it's not a judgmental book, it's just really practical, which I really, really like. Fitness. So obviously, with the fact that we're in a lockdown now, um, it is a tough situation for a lot of us because we can't go to the gym. And we are obviously allowed to go out and do our exercise once a day. Um, I do go for walks, however, I also do stuff at home. And one of the things that I love for exercising is my resistance bands. I think this one is 15 um, kilograms. So I like using this because there are so many different types of exercises you can do. You can do um, legs, you can do back, you can do um, biceps, you can do so much. And um, I'll include some videos of how I've been using this, but it's excellent. I'm loving these types of resistance bands. I use them as well for doing kind of um, legs, um, but also biceps as well. I've been watching various people and how they use and recommend resistance bands and what's great is they have different um, weights so you can use the resistance band which is best for you and what you're able to do confidently podcasts um, and stuff on Netflix so so for podcasts um, I wrote them down um, Evil Genius with Russell Kane which is a BBC podcast it's quite funny and I like how Russell Kane is very tongue-in-cheek um, and very very quintessentially English very sarcastic and um, they basically take someone from the past, like a public figure, and they discuss them and essentially analyse their what they did in their life, the kind of person they were. And then they ask their panel, were they evil or were they a genius? So they'll, they'll do them about everyone from um, Picasso to um, Elvis to um, Coco Chanel. In fact, the one about Coco Chanel was so interesting because she had a bit of a dark past and a dark history, which was really, really insightful to learn about. Um, the next podcast is um, How to Fail with Elizabeth Day. I really like this podcast because 
she explores um, how a lot of people's careers really took off when they so-called quote unquote failed and how those failures led them to greatness in um, what they did with their careers and their achievements and it's such an uplifting amazing podcast she's such she's so good at what she does and it's really really super inspiring and also I like listening to um, Gemma Collins <laughs> <laughs> Gemma Collins is a British TV personality best known for being on The Only Way is Essex but her podcast is actually really light-hearted and very fun and she's actually really really sweet um, and it just makes you laugh because she's unapologetically herself but she has a good heart and I like listening to her podcast. Um, TV, Netflix, my recommendations. I have been watching um, Tiger King I'm quite gripped by that. I've not got through it all, but I've just started watching that. Um, I've been watching The Crown. I think I'm almost at the end of that. I haven't been watching as much TV as I thought. I've been kind of doing various things and organising um, around the house and sorting stuff out. Oops, that's my um, April favourites. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you got to the end, thank you so much. Please like, comment and of course subscribe. Oh, and also turn on the bell notifications so you will be informed whenever I um, upload a brand new video. Take care.